For the past couple of years, I've been trying to balance being a full-time medical student alongside churning out at least one YouTube video every single week and one TikTok video every two to three days alongside my part-time job, friends, family, gym, and everything else on the side. In this entire process with me trying to juggle all these balls at the same time, I've learned five important skills which I will share with you now. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Arham and I'm a fifth year medical student at the University of Oslo in Norway. First of all, think of time in 15 minute chunks. This one is literally the easiest time management hack because it requires such a minor mindset shift. So let's say you wake up at 7 in the morning and by 7.30 you are done with laying your eggs in the toilet and also having your breakfast. And now you'll you be like, okay, you know what? It's 7.30 now, I'll start studying at 8 a.m. That's what a normal student or any normal human being would do, right? They will give themselves these 30 minutes to relax and, you know, to start their day off and then start studying. And that's because normally we are used to thinking of time either in 60 minute chunks or 30 minute chunks. So let's say if we find ourselves procrastinating at 9.07, like 7 past 9, then we'll be like, okay, you know what? I'll keep procrastinating for the next 25 minutes and start working at 9.30 a.m. So if we are associating our work with time in 30 or 60 minute chunks, we end up wasting so much more time compared to if we were thinking about time in 15 minute chunks. And this I find to be much more useful. So if I'm procrastinating and it says seven past nine, then instead of thinking that, okay, I'll start studying at 9.30, I say to myself, okay, Aram, you know what? You have seven or eight more minutes to waste and then you have to start studying at 9.15, quarter past nine. And this way, I'm only wasting like seven or eight minutes compared to 25 minutes or 30 minutes before previously. So instead of waiting for the clock to strike 9.30 or 10 or 10.30 or 11, start thinking about times in 15 minute blocks. And the next amazing hack is this app called Alfred for Mac users only. And I think for Windows, there is this correspondingly similar app called Vox, which you can use for the exact same purpose. So let's say I want to open Safari on my MacBook, right? What I would normally do or what a normal person would do is that they would use their mouse to drag the cursor all the way to the dock and then find the safari icon and then click that icon and wait for safari to open with this app you can do that exact same step in like half a second all you have to do is simply type command spacebar and then saf and then boom safari will open in a millisecond or let's say you want to search for the question what's the mechanism of action of penicillin now instead of opening up safari and going to google you can simply type that question in alfred by going to command spacebar and then typing out your question and boom safari will open up with google and the answer and even if you want to open a specific file in your computer right instead of going from folder to folder to folder to folder and then looking for that file and then opening it up you can simply go to command spacebar and then spacebar once one more time and then simply type the name of the file and boom it will open up in a millisecond this app makes you save around five to ten seconds every single time you interact with your computer and now you'll be like what the heck are you talking about man like five to ten seconds per interaction i don't care about that and that's the exact same reaction I also had when I first learned about this app from Ali Abdal. However, trust me guys, this compounds over time. Like these 10 seconds, imagine you interacting with your computer like 100 times every single day and that multiplied by 10 and imagine doing that for like six whole months or two years or three years over the span of this time you will save tons of hours and then days and then even sometimes weeks of time you know that you will save just by using this app this video is not sponsored by alfred at all but now since i'm used to using this app i cannot even imagine going back to my old ways of using the mouse to open every single file the next hack is called batching and the idea here is that you want to sort of stack similar tasks together so that's because whenever we switch from one task to another we are also using up concentration and focus and energy by virtue of switching between different tasks however when you stack similar tasks together you avoid that leakage of energy which is required for you to switch between tasks. Our brains are not like computers that we can simply switch between different tabs or windows without compromising any energy. So for example, if I'm working on let's say my taxes and then suddenly I see on the top right corner that there has that this certain email has popped up, then I choose to completely ignore that because I'm working on one thing at a time and I will let those emails pile up for the next week and then I will sit down one day 
in a certain week and then respond to let's say 20 emails at the same time instead of actively switching between tasks to respond to every mail like twice or thrice every single day and the same goes for all other tasks as well let's say filming my youtube videos now that i'm filming this one i'll actually be filming let's say two or three more videos in one day and then i am done for the next three weeks the next hack are the two p's first of all we have the pareto's principle which states that 80 percent of the results come from 20 percent of the input so you need to identify that 20 percent which will give you most of your outcome right so for example in my case i focus on 20 percent of the course material in mbbs or in medical school which is going to give me 80 percent of the exam questions or 80 percent of my material the rest is not really important because my grade does not completely rely on that by learning that 20% of the entire crux of the course I will be able to breeze through my exams quite easily the next P is the Parkinson's law which states that work expands to fill the time that we allocate to it I swear we have all been there where we have like four months to complete a certain project however we don't do anything at all and then two days before the deadline we sit down do all nighters drink up some caffeine pop some pills and get that exact same amount of work done in two freaking nights so we have to set up these artificial deadlines for ourselves to complete certain tasks so for example if i'm responding to emails and i give myself two hours to complete that i will probably do that in two hours because i'll be you know scrolling through instagram on my phone tiktok snapchat whatever every five to ten minutes however if i give myself only 30 minutes to get all my emails done then i promise you guys i will do that in 30 minutes this last hack is going to to be very controversial and people are going to hate me for this but honestly i don't care because this is personally what i do and this has worked like a charm for me so the idea is that you say no to gaming during the semester so whenever i walk past my playstation it requires so much self-discipline to like look away and not go into this rabbit hole of opening up that playstation and start playing the games because 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 this is a huge trap and this requires so much self-discipline the ability to like walk past your playstation and still not give in to the urge of you know sitting down and playing warzone or whatever you are into right it's extremely extremely difficult but totally worth it and there are two reasons for this first of all because you lose track of time when you are gaming so last summer i think oh no in summer 2020 i was gaming the whole day literally i would spend like five to six hours per session of gaming without even looking away from my screen and when those five or six hours would have passed and i want let's say get some water right i'd be like mm. i'm like whoa have six hours already passed that's not freaking possible and then the guilt would start to kick in as well secondly because for me it's very hard to get back to all that boring work if i'm playing during the semester so let's say you're playing and you're filling your body up with all that dopamine and you know adrenaline while playing let's say warzone and then it's really hard to get back to let's say responding to emails or making these videos or studying kind of biochemistry or internal medicine because all that other stuff is like obviously boring compared to gaming because gaming is super fun and nothing can beat that so during the semester i do not allow myself to touch my playstation and there is one exception and that is when i'm outside with my friends you know at, at a friend's place and we like gaming all of us then it's fine but at home no chance baby that's a wrap for today sapiens i hope you found the video useful and if you did then please kiss that subscribe button because that really helps me to keep churning out these videos week in week out and in the meantime you can watch this video which will surely add some value to you guys and i'll see you guys on the other side take care peace